Hello, welcome to SPPS School. Today I'll be sharing about the best and better way to explain about activity, about performance, about the participation, participations that you have gone through, all the experiences, the whole day you did perform and offer to people. So today we will be learning how to divide activities into three parts. Any activities, any activities, any conduct, any type of participations you have participated. If so. Always, uh, if people ask you, what did you do today, since morning to till now or till night, okay? So, how would you answer to them? Because it's a very important. The people are keep asking to us, what did you do today, okay? Or, batao, what did you do today? And kind of ask uh, questions we may get asked. And people are asking, if we have participated in any meeting, then they ask you, okay, what did you do in the, part, uh, in the meeting and the uh, event? And kind of the celebrations part that we also perform and offer and do participate in the same. So, okay. So, always do divide into three parts. The first is morning, second is noon and third is evening. Because everything is being conducted or organized into three parts. The first is morning, the second is noon and the third one is about evening. When we organize any meeting and conduct any event, then definitely we do uh, separate them into, th we do divide into three parts. In the, mo in the in morning, we will be doing those, those things. And in the noon time, we will be organizing and we will be, uh, decorating the house and we will be doing the, all the things in the evening we will be asking them to leave we will be welcoming to them and we will be offering them to to complete their diet and all the things that we have served to them okay so always divide into three parts if you are explaining about activity okay so first is morning and please each uh, each segment must be carrying only four to five sentences to make them understand easily because whatever you mounted in a day it must be delivered through your speech because you are explaining easily to understand them because they just want to know what did you do today so morning it's mean four to five sentence i just woke up at this time i did finish my exercise and i did finish my breakfast and i took bath and i went uh, i just left to office if you are going to office if you are going to school then you can say that sir, i left to school and uh, if you are going to uh, uh, office uh, you can say i left to office and if you are going to work at some specific place you can also mention that uh, i left to company i left to this organization and the name you can also call the name of the organization and the association the fund where you are working and studying kind of things you can also elaborate okay to encapsulate the whatever you are enacted in a whole day so please divide into three parts and the first will be morning like in the morning uh, at 5 5 a.m i woke up and finished some exercise i went for for walk for two three uh, for 20 to 30 minutes and then after i took bath and did finish my breakfast and left to school or office just assume that's office okay left to office in the noon time i did organize a meeting which I was asked to conduct, okay? And I did call to all the clients and I did welcome to them and I had finished my lunch at 2 p.m. And then after I resumed my work, office work, which were pending and uh, I did finish my all office work, okay? So in the noon time, how many sentences we have expressed? Only four to five sentences. Uh, I did conduct a meeting, which I was uh, asked to do that. I did call to every client to, to get together. And the third one I did, uh, I had lunch at 2 p.m. third one, and then I resumed my office work and completed my all the tasks that I was given and then I left to home at 5 or 6 p.m. Okay, so it's mean you have only elaborated and you did utilize only 4 to 5 sentences, which is important. And the evening time, uh, evening time, you'll have to also use 4 to 5 sentences. In the evening, uh, I went for to market for groceries, vegetables, and then after I did help to my mom, to my sister to cook food for the family. And then I uh, read a book. If you are reading a book and if you did exercise, if whatever you are doing, just you can mention those all the things that are required at the same time, which you perform, which you enact, which you mount at the same time. Okay. And then after I did spend a lot of time, it's mean two to three hours and to communicate to people, to talking to the cli client and to talking to the friends and social medias. I was deep scrolling. I was scrolling on social media, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you just spend your time, you can explain about those. And then after you can say that this time, it's mean uh, around... 10 to 11 p.m. I had to ha I had to bed. It's me in the whole day, whatever you did. Okay, you'll have to express about that. If you participated in a meeting, then you would be saying in the morning we were uh, we were welcomed by the organization and the team, and uh, they asked us to uh, finish the breakfast, and then everybody was distributed uh, to everybody. They to distributed a pen and diary, and they asked to to take the places where was the 
where was the fix was booked for us and then uh, the session was started in the first session they discussed about this and then after they also reserved the issues that we uh, were uh, seeking and kind of things they also performed and they resolved and then after we had lunch and after lunch we also resumed the session and everybody was uh, everybody were was asking uh, questions and the doubts to solve to to rectify to correct the, and those kind of things uh, what happened in the noon time in the morning we just uh, took the bus and catch the bus and went to theirs in the evening i just uh, uh, back to my home and i did perform i did uh, uh, homework uh, whatever i was given by them and i was preparing for the next day and i did help to my mom and i did this i did communicate to all the colleagues that were joining the meeting and kind of things you can explain if you have participated in any event then you can say in the morning we were uh, decorating the house we were welcoming and we did finish breakfast and we were also discussing to organize something some something different and to decorate something else and we did contribute to cut the cake and we went to the market and did shop we bought these kind of things we did watch movie and kind of things you can all elaborate because in, in the evening we did a decorator and we invited to all the friends uh, to cut the cake and we did also uh, celebrate we did prepare samosa and all whatever you did prepare for the guest and every guest were welcomed and we did cut the cake after after cutting the cake we took in a lot of selfies and did dance and enjoy the party and then after we had to head we had to bed so always divide into three parts morning noon and evening and each part will carry will will be carrying only four to five sentences which are good to explain because they are there to understand what did you do the whole day okay what you did perform the whole day and how many things you offer to people to understand to know what new thing you did if you did new thing then you can also explain about them remember you have to divide into three parts if uh, morning noon evening and each will carry only four to five sentences so this is the best and better way to explain about activity if some from now if somebody is asking you tell me about your activity so do explain like this evening time i did this is in the noon time i did this 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 and in the evening i did this 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 and had to bed that's all if you want to learn more and more with the pure detail with the, a lot of sense and a lot of detail then you can join our english classes at just 1 rupee yes it is at just 1 rupee every day okay so don't forget to join just visit and book your classes till then please keep practicing and keep enjoying and keep living the truth